My name's James Morton and I'm the Head of Nutrition for Team Sky. When it comes to nutritional strategies for the classics, in many ways it's harder than a Grand Tour stage actually, because of course you've got the intensity of the stage, you've also got the duration of the stage, and actually the riders can't really come back to the car to get any extra products. And then last but not least is we've got the environmental temperatures, so sometimes it can be very, very cold and wet during a classic stage. So when it comes to fueling, really it's textbook nutrition, carbohydrate is king, and we really are trying to hit those high targets, 75 to 90 grams per hour. A lot of riders don't do that in training, so we have to practice that in training. And if we do our job right, we come to the classic stages and the riders are, are, are well prepared on how to take on board that amount of carbohydrate. And hopefully we've done all of the planning, hopefully all of the riders are educated on how to take on this extra fuel, and hopefully we win the races. And then when the race proceeds, we then try to switch to more semi-solids, and that's where the gels comes in. And of course we're consistently fueling with the fluids. So if you like, if you take one of those pieces of carbohydrate, roughly they're between 20 to 25 grams, and that's a unit of carbohydrate. And we try and educate our riders to get three or four units per hour. But we definitely make the transition from solids to fluids to semi-solids towards the end of the race. And of course, when the riders really need a pickup towards the end of the race, then that's where the caffeine gels come in quite handy. So recovery again is probably one of the most important aspects of nutrition for cycling in our view um, and recovery for the classics might be considered different from recovery from a Grand Tour but actually in the classic season the races come thick and fast so although you might not be racing the next day you might be racing the day after that so what we have to try and do is manage the recovery intake so that riders weight stay pretty stable so in other words they don't eat too much but actually they don't eat too little and that's really my job to try and get to know the rider, how their body handles food, to know the energy expenditure of the duration of that stage, to work with the coaches on the recovery loads and the training loads the next day, to try and manage weight throughout that classic season.